guys, I'm Lisa Foyles. Welcome to Analog. Today, things get a little grim and mysterious as we celebrate Big B and his not-so-innocent storybook friends. The Wolf Among Us, the episodic series by Telltale Games for nearly all modern systems and PC, just wrapped up its season with an incredible final installment. But fear not, adventure gamers. Here are three games like The Wolf Among Us. <laughs> Telltale has resurrected and made over adventure games. I would recommend any series they offer, Back to the Future, Monkey Island, Sam and Max, but the best and most similar to The Wolf Among Us is The Walking Dead. Everyone knows The Walking Dead, be it from the graphic novels or the TV show. However, those mediums force you to experience the story from the outside, while The Walking Dead video game lets you decide your fate and the fate of those around you, similar to The Wolf Among Us. Both games are identical in gameplay. You're a troubled man in a dangerous world. In this case, you're a convict in the Zompocalypse. You encounter other characters and you communicate with them. You have limited time to choose your dialogue and everything you say is remembered. While Big B stays busy deciding whose head to smash in, Lee must focus on how to distract walkers to keep he and Clementine safe, while also smashing in an undead head or two. You choose your path. By the last episode in the series, every player will have different friends, foes, and survivors. It's extremely similar to The Wolf Among Us, but this one is so emotional, it will make you cry. Unless you're dead inside. Speaking of dead inside, I used to say do whatever you can to hunt down a copy of this PC game, but luckily Tim Schafer announced the remastered version is coming soon to PS4 and Vita. It's Grim Fandango. <laughs> The Wolf Among Us begins as a murder mystery. Grim Fandango is also a mystery, but is less concerned with how the victims died and more with what is happening to them now that they're dead. Yes, you play as Manny Calavera, a grim reaper in the land of the dead. Grim Fandango has a noir, melodramatic feel mixed with a Dia de los Muertos theme and one sexy soundtrack, but underneath the atmosphere is a hilarious point-and-click adventure in a more classic style than The Wolf Among Us. Sure, there are dialogue choices to help uncover clues, but it's more focused on puzzles. How does this skeleton arm interact with the snow machine? How can I rig a roulette game to manipulate the attendance of my casino? On top of it all, it's one of the funniest games I've ever played. Come on, you're a Grim Reaper slash travel agent on a four-year journey with a gambling-addicted orange demon trying to find your hot dead girlfriend. I'm counting the days, Schaefer. Looks like some sort of warning sign. Point-and-click adventures are native to PC, they just work best with a keyboard and mouse. But the DS has proven to be a great platform for adventure games, with one of the best being Ghost Trick Phantom Detective. Zombies, Grim Reapers, how about a ghost? Ghost Trick is also a murder mystery with a bit of a noir feel, but the victim this time is you. You're a detective who's been murdered, so you must solve the case as a bodiless spirit. If you didn't mind all the reading that went along with The Wolf Among Us, then you should be fine with Ghost Trick, because heads up, it's very wordy. It really does feel like an old-school point-and-clicker, and like Grim Fandango, is all about the puzzles. As a ghost, you enchant objects to manipulate them into interacting with each other and achieving goals, like dropping a wrecking ball on a bad guy. You also have the ability to rewind time four minutes to avoid tragedies and save lives. Plus, telephone lines let you teleport to new locations. It's well-written, has a very interesting cast of characters, and is awesomely animated. Sure, there are more decision-heavy, serious detective games out there like Heavy Rain, but Telltale has taken such strides to revive adventure games that I'm sticking with that theme. Plus, I need more people to help me nag Tim Schafer. That's the real reason. Leave a comment with games you think are similar to The Wolf Among Us, plus send me a tweet to at LisaFoils. I'll see you on the other side.